Hi guys, if you have not already watched my last video, then go and check that out. It is my birth announcement video. I did have my baby and I introduced him over there and show you guys him in the video and introduce you guys to him. Um, so his daddy has him right now so that I can film his um, this video, which is the things that helped me survive my first week as a first time mom home with a preemie baby. Um, so if you watch that video, you know that he came a month early, uh, very unexpectedly. <laughs> and um, so I had a lot of stuff ready, but I had a lot of stuff that I was not prepared for. Um, but I'm going to show you guys the things that I used in this first, like he's 10 days old today. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the things that I have consistently used from the time that he was born to now. Um, and some of these things I even took to the hospital with me that I had already packed in my hospital bag that were like, game changers like things that I just could not live without so I'm going to start with um, some little gadget e type items um, that I had bought that had been recommended to me from other friends of mine that were moms um, and one in particular that just had her baby a few months ago and so she was telling me the things that she just couldn't live without so um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to link all of this stuff on my Amazon storefront and I'll put that down below um, in the baby stuff category so that it's really easy for you to shop and you can see the pictures of it and all that kind of stuff. The bigger items I will insert into the video as I'm talking about it, um, a, a picture of it. Obviously I'm not gonna like try to wheel his bassinet in here and show it to you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna go through the things that I just loved for this first uh, 10 days and um, yeah. So first item is this little portable sound machine. It's called a Hush sound machine. It has um, a few different settings, um, but this one is the one he likes the most. They say that it sounds like the womb, um, but you can change the setting and it has a few different sounds. Um, you can turn it up and down, um, but it does come with this little ring and literally I had this in the hospital bag and I put it on the bedside, the bassinet that's at the hospital, put, like clipped it on the side and it instantly would calm him. Um, so I actually ordered a second one of these for us at home and then I have a cousin that is expecting and I ordered one for her as well um, because it's just so great. We even went on a walk around the neighborhood yesterday and I clipped this to his car seat and I clipped it to his car seat when we went into his first doctor's appointment. Um, it's just something that keeps him kind of calm and it charges so you don't have to put batteries in it. Um, so I put, I kept, got two of them so that we can keep one constantly charged and still use one because we use it every night. I clip it to the side of his bassinet and turn it on every night and I even really like it, honestly. Um, so that's the first like gadgety item. And then the next one is this little light right here. So my friend Virginia, who just had a baby three months ago, she had told me about this and it is a game changer again so it is a little light and you can't see how bright it is because obviously it's very bright in here and I have lights on but at night it puts out a really nice glow that you can see but it's not like bright blinding like you're going from sleep to daylight you know like that kind of bright what is also about this is that you don't have to turn it on in the middle of the night if you flip it over the light goes off and if you flip it again the light comes on so I hope you can see that on this video I don't know if you can um, but at night it's such a perfect like light that is just just bright enough um, and I keep it beside his bassinet so that I can see him at night um, and just like look over and check on him um, throughout the night um, one thing I did not bring in here that I have used since the night we brought him home is the Owlet sleep sock and I will link that I'll put a picture of it up here um, it's charging right now or I would bring it in here, but it's, um, it grows with him. So it comes with a few different sizes because his foot is so teeny tiny, um, that we had gotten it because in the hospital he had desatted a couple of times. Um, and so I was really worried about coming home and having, not having a, a breathing monitor situation. It's something that, that, um, monitored his O2 at night. Um, so I got him actually ran out after we got home the first night and got one from Best Buy. Um, and, but I will link it down below, I'll link the one we got, and, um, it's been fantastic. Um, it just gives me peace of mind at night, and I'm able to sleep a little better knowing that the, that thing monitors him, and then it will, um, set off an alarm if it's not reading correctly, or if it detects that his heart rate has dropped or anything like that. So, that thing has been a lifesaver for sure. Uh, yeah, so that is 100% recommended. Um, next thing I wanted to talk to you about is um, his bassinet. So I had ordered two different bassinets. I had ordered a rocking bassinet 
and I had ordered one that had wheels on it. And I thought that I would leave one in the bedroom where he sleeps every night, and then I would use the other one in the living room um, when I'd get up with him in the mornings. But because I got the one with the wheels on it, I ended up not even opening the one that was a rocking one, and I sold it on Marketplace um, because it had been too long for me to return it. Um, because the wheel one is perfect. Like I literally roll him out here in the morning and put him in the kitchen while I'm like making coffee and getting everything ready. Um, and it's just super, super convenient to roll him back and forth. Um, and speaking of bassinets, I also bought, um, waterproof mattress, like bassinet mattress covers and sheets so that I could like lasagna style it. So you put like a waterproof one and then a sheet and then a waterproof one and then a sheet and then you can pull them off and you still have a clean sheet underneath because he has peed through so many diapers he's puked on them like it's been like they stay messy so constantly using um the different sheets and stuff like that actually i have some in the washer right now um and then also to get baby puke stains out i have found that a shout is the only thing that will really get them out um, i use dref to wash his stuff in but like it does not get the stains out so I have been using shout and then like scrubbing it and then putting it in the wash and washing it in draft because these, ex these, I bought these expensive outfits and I, they were like stained from him spitting up and things like that until I finally got some newborn bibs because he's a preemie and so everything was just way too big on him and like I had to run out and everybody in my family ran out and bought him preemie clothes because I was not prepared to have such a teeny tiny baby. Um, and yeah, so that has been a game changer for sure. Sorry, my camera died, but I'm back. Um, so yeah, so bassinet, bassinet sheets, shout. Those are, the th those are the things that are keeping all of his sheets clean. Um, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is a tote. So I have this one, and this was actually given to me at one of my baby showers. Well, my baby shower only had one. Um, and I carry this from room to room with me. So it sits on my nightstand at night for me to grab easy access things out of here um, and then also it I bring it in the living room and set it beside me on the couch um, so this has everything in it so it has his little like suction thing it has diapers wipes it has this little changing mat which I will link below because I absolutely love it um, and it has all of his burp cloths in it and it has passy and bottle wipes in it I mean it has everything his little hairbrush um, because he's born with a full head of hair if you watched the last video you saw um, so yeah, that thing is just like clutch. Like I love it. Um, and then speaking of burp cloths, the ones that I have been using the absolute most, my aunt did make him some and I love those as well. But the ones that I just bought that I love are these, these are actually cloth diapers. Um, and somebody had told me to order these cause they're much more affordable and you get way more of them. Um, and they're really, really absorbent and they wash really well. So, um, I use these as burp cloths. And then I had bought these like muslin ones as well. They're super soft. I have them in green and I have them in white and they wash up really well as well. So those are the burp cloths that I have been using the most for sure. Um, loungers. So he has a pillow like lounger, like a snuggle me lounger. Um, uh, and then he has like a rocking, like seat lounger. So the one that the snuggle me, he just like, we sit in it on the couch with us. Like when we're there and monitoring him, he doesn't like sleep in it or anything. Um, it's just something to like contain him on the couch. Um, while we, you know, like are there. Um, and then he's his lounger that I, that he like sits in. That's like a chair. It rocks too. Um, I keep that one in the bathroom actually. So like when I get up in the mornings to take a shower, I'll feed him and put him in that. And then I'll take a shower where I can see him. Um, and he likes to just sit in it and chill while I shower and get right and get myself together in the mornings. Um, so those two things absolutely would recommend both of them. Um, and then the snuggle me, you don't have to get that brand. There's a ton of brands. Like he has this one too. Um, let me get it. It's covered in stuff that I want to show you guys. Um, he has this one as well and it's the same kind of deal. It's just like a pillow lounger thing that is just, it keeps him contained and you know, we have dogs. Um, so it just keeps a little bit of a barrier between the dogs and him, especially if we're just all like chilling on the couch and nobody like is like if we're eating or something and nobody is actively holding him, then we will put him in that. Um, 
This is not necessarily an item, it's an app and it is free. The Huckleberry app has been amazing. So you can track nursing, bottles, diapers, pumping, sleep, everything you can track on that app. Like I really, I use it religiously. Like I'll show you his app. Um, this is like his weekly summary. Like if you can see all those little like lines are things that I have input, whether it be food or diapers or whatever. Um, and so that app has just been amazing. I try, especially because if you watch the other video, he had some issues and we ended up in the hospital a second time. So it was really, really important that I track his input and his output. And um, so that app has just been phenomenal for that. And like for me as a first time mom and nursing and all that kind of stuff, it's been great. Um, and then next up are baby wraps. So I have three, I have this one I'm gonna show you and then I have the Boppy Comfy Fit and I have a Wild Bird Ring Sling. Those two I've not used yet. The only one I have used so far is this one. This is the Solly Baby Wrap um, and it fits fantastic as being plus size but um, there's lots of tutorials on how to use this as a baby wrap um, on TikTok and YouTube and all that kind of stuff and they even have like Solly has videos on how to use it. Um, if you guys want me to, I can do like a short like tutorial on it, put it on Instagram or something like that on how I tie it. Um, but he absolutely loves this thing and it gets me, it gives me my hands back so that when I'm doing stuff around the house, then I can put him in this and he may, I think it makes him feel like he's still in my belly because he's so close and I'm walking around and he can feel the movement and all that kind of stuff. So love this thing. Um, and then sleep swaddles so i had at first when we first came home i was just swaddling him in a blanket but it was making me a little nervous because he's a little escape artist with his hands um, and so i felt like he was going to get them loose and then it was going to be too close to his mouth um so we switched over and actually the hospital sent us home with this one this is a halo um sleep swaddle and i have one as well but i have it in like the bigger size up this is a newborn size and i think i have the uh, the next size up. So this is the Halo brand one. So it has the little thing in here that you zip up and then you have the Velcro that you put them in a little baby straight jacket and Velcro them up and uh, it's just really nice and secure and he likes it a lot. So that one is one of them. And then this one is uh, a Swaddle Me I think brand. Let's see. No, this is Key Babies brand. I do have some Swaddle Me ones as well that haven't been washed yet. Same concept, except this one doesn't have the zipper part on the inside. It's just the Velcro. So you put them in here, it's a little sack. And you put them in here and you just Velcro them up. Um, he likes that one as well. And then I got one from Walmart yesterday that was just like a little sack that you zip up. It didn't have the Velcro. Um, he likes that one as well because he can move his arms a little more. And like I said, he likes to move his arms. Um, he can't get them out because he's zipped up, but he can move them a little more. So he likes that one as well. So those are the sleep sacks that we are using. Um, we also ordered, we have a car cam. So like it points down on his... Um, car seat while we're driving like I sit in the back seat with him right now but if I'm driving you know obviously I want to be able to check on him and then this one allows me to um, it has a monitor in the front of the car so I don't have to like look in the rearview mirror and look in the mirror on him and then look that looks at him it's just a camera that points directly at him and then there's a monitor on the dash that I can like check on him um so we love that I absolutely love that um one thing we have definitely used is Passies. I have been using the Nuke brand um, Passies, but I also ordered some Ryan and Rose Passies that are coming in. Um, but he, being so premature, um, they told me to watch out with Passies because sometimes, especially when they're so little, they don't know how to suck and breathe at the same time. So they'll like forget to breathe. He's doing great now, but like at first, when I first introduced a Passy, at the hospital he um decided a little bit and so they were a little worried about it but the pediatrician came in checked him and um, they said he's fine to use a passy um and he loves it so um at first it made me super nervous like i didn't give it to him at night especially but he loves his passy so and he's he's figured it out now he was just a little early so he's figured it out we breathe and we suck on the passy at the same time <laughs> so um 
Also, uh, bottles. So I really liked the Tommy Tippy bottles. Um, I have Tommy Tippy, Tomo Tomo, and Dr. Brown's. Um, so right now I'm nursing, pumping, and supplementing with formula because he's so small and he lost so much weight going back into the hospital and being sick with jaundice that we're trying to get him back up to his birth weight. So we're just like marathon feeding right now. Um, so I really like the Tommy Tippy brand. Um, the Dr. Brown's, I like them okay. Um, I like, I like the Como Tomo as well, but Tommy Tippy is definitely by far my favorite. Um, and so when you're talking about bottles, I also love my Baby Breeza sterilizer. So I run it every night and every morning. Um, I wash all the bottles, hand wash them, and then put them in the sterilizer with his like bottle parts and pieces and all that kind of stuff and any passies that need to be sterilized. Put them all in there, run them at night, run them in the morning. It only takes 30 minutes and it sterilizes them and dries them. Um, so love that. I will link that for you guys too. And then we also have the Baby Breeza formula machine so like some people are like you know there was like a thing going around that they're not accurate and all this kind of stuff but if you look up the formula that you put in it it'll tell you exactly what setting to put it on and it's perfectly accurate um so we absolutely love it and it's so nice i got the wi-fi one so it's so nice when i wake up in the middle of the night to do his feedings i will because i like put an alarm on my phone to feed him every two to three hours and um depending on how much he ate at the last setting. Um, I will have a bottle under it ready to go and I can just start it from my phone and it'll make the bottle and then Gotham will either go get it for me or I'll go get it. Um, and, and I don't have to like get up, go make the formula, you know, heat it up, whatever. Um, it's just done and ready to go. I just have to pop a top on it and give it to him. So I absolutely love that as well. Um, and then for breastfeeding and for bottle feeding, I love this thing right here. So I got this. This is the Mom Cozy. Um, it's kind of like a boppy. And he has a regular boppy too that I used at first. But being plus size, it didn't like comfortably fit around me for me to be able to feed him well, like and properly. Um, so I got this one. Um, and this one is like for plus size. So it is awesome. And I love it. And I have been using it nonstop. So I use it. When I'm feeding him, I use it when he's just lounging and we're watching TV. I use it when I'm feeding, giving him a bottle. Gotham uses it as well, and we just love this thing. So, like I said, he has the regular boppy too, and I will link that below. Uh, we've been using that more for like my like my other nieces and nephews when they want to hold him. Like it's easier for them to hold him with a boppy, so we've been using that one for that, and then this one for ourselves. So that, and then the as far as clothes go. Uh, two-way zipper sleepers have been a game changer. So I have a few of those from Kite Baby. I love the bamboo stuff. It is so soft. He loves it. I love it. Um, it's just fantastic. But the two-way zippers are great. Magnetic me sleepers that just magnetize. Oh, they're such a game changer. They're so easy to use. Um, and they're so nice to like pop them out of it and pop them back in it when I'm changing his diaper. Um, and then gowns, of course, for nighttime. They're just easy to get to and easy to change his diaper. Um, as far as diapers go, we have tried Pampers and we have tried Huggies. So the Huggies, let me pull one out. So this is, oh, here's the Passies we've been using, by the way. These are the Nuke brand Passies that he really likes. Um, and they seem to be a good size for him. Um, these are the zero to three month ones and I'll link those below too. I got those at Amazon. So we really like the Huggies little snugglers, the Pampers little one, like the newborn campers. We've, they, he pees right out of them. He pees out the side, he pees out the top, he pees everywhere. It's just every single time I put one on him, he pees out of it. These, he does not. So they have more of the little like inside, see this little inside piece right here? They have more of those and in the back that like catches everything and keeps it in the diaper versus the Pampers one is like really close to the edge where as you see how these are kind of further in, the Pampers ones are closer to the edge and they he just pees out of them. So um, Huggies for us, uh, I know everybody's different and people have certain diapers that they prefer. Those are the ones that we have found worked best for us. Um, also, newborn bibs have been a game changer to not ruin every single outfit that he puts on from spit up. Oh my God, so many of this. Um, 
And so those are a game changer as well. Uh, so yeah, those are the items that I have just been absolutely loving. If you guys want another video of like what I took to the hospital and actually used like hospital bag wise um, versus like what I shouldn't have brought or didn't use or whatever and postpartum supplies and all that kind of stuff, then please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do a video on that as well. Um, but you guys, guys, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and show you guys how I have survived the first week as being a first time mom and having a new little baby in the house. So, um, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss any of my new videos and we will be doing baby content, lifestyle content, fashion, vlogs, all the things on this channel this year. So uh, I'm excited to be on maternity leave and get to make some content for you guys. Um, so I definitely plan to do that. So let me know if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.